So I'm here in Marys County, uh, Missouri. I'm just south of a little town called Bell, Missouri. And I'm here at a cemetery south of town called Liberty Cemetery. Why? <laughs> um, I'm a bit of a nerd. I teach government, so I like reading statutes. <laughs> Who does that besides attorneys? But I like really unusual ones. And anyway, I found something in the Missouri State Statutes that just kind of shocked me. And I started asking around about it. And most people had never even heard of it uh, before. I'm gonna put a link below. There's a statute, a Missouri Revised Statute 253.380. And uh, it was uh, written in 1986. And um, it was drafted by a state representative. And I'll put his name below. He's a whole other story. He was a large animal vet that got elected to the Missouri uh, General Assembly, House of Representatives. He kind of revolutionized large animal veterinarian education uh, in Missouri. But that's another story. Anyway, he wrote a bill to create a new state park. Actually, uh, well, it's supposed to be a state park, but it's going to be a state memorial garden. And the name of this garden is the Pansy Travis Johnson State Memorial Gardens. And if you read the statute below, it's very specific on what the gardens are supposed to look like, what can be in it, what cannot be in it. They didn't want jungle gyms and swing sets and things like that. They wanted uh, flowers and brushes and shrubs and, you know, all that stuff that a garden would have. But, <laughs> and, and by the way, he also, in this, in this bill, it creates a fund, a memorial fund, that is going to uh, continually earn interest uh, so that that money can be used to establish the park. Now, that's the weird part. The park is going to be established. Now, this was written in 1986. The state park is going to be established in 2086. And I don't think I'm going to be alive to see it. However, 15 years prior to that, in 2071, I'll be at 101 years old, so maybe I can get on this. There will be a commission that will be put together uh, to look at finding land uh, to build this state memorial garden. Because <laughs> they don't have the location. The location in the statute says that it has to be east of the Gasconade River in Marys County. Well, I, I called the Historical Society in Marys County. They were very, very nice. They never heard of it. I talked to um, some people in the General Assembly. They had never heard of it. Uh, I called uh, uh, and, and I talked to a couple of gentlemen uh, from the Missouri Conservation Department because there's some conservation land um, east of the Gasconade in this county. I thought, well, maybe that's where it's gonna be. They were very, very nice. They were very doubtful that it was going to be, um, uh, you know, a conservation area would be changed over to a state park. So nobody knows where it's gonna be. And I guess that's not gonna be decided until I'm 101 years old. So if you read the statute, and it's called the Pansy Travis Johnson Memorial, State Memorial Gardens, but it also says that it's supposed to have a plaque put in it that it's dedicated to six individuals. Who is Pansy Travis Johnson? Well, there is nobody by that name. Um, but what I did find out was some help. Um, we went on Ancestry.com. We started looking at all of the names and Pansy, and we found her. The woman's name was Pansy Pearl Johnson. Uh, she was born here in Missouri. She was never married. She was born on February 14th, 1897. She had a sister named Aura. Um, now, Aura got married, but Pansy never did. They both went to Warrensburg. Uh, it was a teacher's college, and they both became teachers. And this lady, oh my gosh, she, from what I've seen, she had an adventure of life. And I'd like to find out more about her if I can find some of her descendants. Um, she, um, 
she taught here in uh, in Missouri. She taught in Winnemucca, uh, Nevada. She taught in Arizona. She taught in Santa Cruz, uh, California. I mean, she was all over the place. And she ends up um, retiring um, in Oklahoma, uh, where she passed away. Amazing life, but I have no idea why the park is de dedicated to her, and I'm still trying to find that out. So I'm here at this Liberty Cemetery, and I thought it would be really hard. It's a, it's a pretty big cemetery, and I thought it was gonna be kind of hard to find uh, headstones. Well, they're right here, right in front of the church, right in front of this gate, and there she is. Pansy Pearl Johnson. Um, that's kind of cool. Over here is one of the people that the park is supposed to be dedicated to. Uh, her sister Aura. Although if you go around to the back, it says she's not here. There's a headstone here, but she's actually buried in California. Um, the Johnson family and the Travis family were both related to Pansy Pearl. And you can see some of the Johnson headstones here. Um, there's some Travises here. Now south of here, just a little, just a little bit down this road, there's a small family cemetery, the Travis family cemetery. And I believe the historical society said there's also a cemetery, I don't know where it is, the, the Johnson family as well. But it's so cool to find this headstone. And I, yeah, I'd love to talk to this lady, but she died um, June 17th, 1990. I'm a little late. Um, I tried to look up the legislator. He passed away in, I think, 2012. Um, I tried to find his chief of staff um, in the legislature. Found out he or she also passed away. So uh, I have a little trouble finding out more information about this. But apparently she, Pansy Pearl, did a lot of work writing about the family history here in this county. And she said that she was so taken uh, by the beauty of Mary's County. And I've driven through here before. I hadn't really, you know, looked. Uh, today I drove pretty slowly from the south part of the county up here to the northeast corner and, and it is strikingly beautiful. So I don't know where this park is going to go. Um, it would be neat if it went near here. Maybe it'll end up in the city of Bell. I don't know. But um, it's an interesting mystery. I'm going to continue to do research on this. Uh, but I'm here in Bell, Missouri at the Liberty Cemetery at the gravesite of Pansy Pearl Johnson. Uh, the inspiration behind a new state park that's going to be created um, in 2086. It's a long time from now, but it'll be neat um, when it happens.